it begins. D23 Expo line has already started to formulate from Harbor down to the Anaheim Convention Center. Got the banners up there, and as the recording of this, right there at the bottom, first day, September 9th, Friday, 2022, and is already quite the beehive of activity out here. I believe it's about 9 a.m. Doors open at 10 a.m., but you can already see the checkpoint lines and traffic here has come to a halt. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. Hey, Bricky. Hey, Adam. You've changed your you've changed your YouTube name. It's no longer Adventures in Design. It's Hey, Bricky. It's Hey, Bricky. I am sure there is going to be a plethora of other folks here that will end up in this video. <laughs> You're the first one. Cheers. <laughs> I am inviting you to join me for D23. The first one in three years. Usually it's every two years. Didn't happen last year. Didn't happen the year before. 2019 was the last one. And now, 2022 begins. Join me. Shall you? Nailed it. Trying to decide on which entrance to go through. Kind of deciding on going parallel to DCA. The banners are everywhere. And you can see the traffic to park. Very, very lengthy. There's gonna be a lot of people here. The event sold out the whole weekend. And it looks as if you were allowed to queue up starting at 5 a.m. I did not get here that early. And there's some signs saying badges are required. Up there it is, D D23 Expo, right up there. The ultimate Disney fan event. I got some very large inflatables over here. We got the Pixar ball, we got Olaf, we got Boba Fett right here. And look at this, you can walk underneath a huge Disney Plus archway. And I like the fact that I'm already starting to see some cosplay. Gonna be quite a bit of cosplay here. I always like this part of the convention center here. It's very futuristic. Yeah. It fits tomorrow. It's very Tomorrowlandish, and this is a, the newer wing right over here. But most of it is going to be past this tent, down a few hundred yards near the fountain. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. All right, you get a little program, and you get a little bag. One thing that's really cool about this expo is they are going to be celebrating the hundredth anniversary of the company. So, hundred years, hundred years of wonder. Also, there's some programs down here as well, but I got that one. I'm not even sure if I really need the bag, but let's oh. grab it. Are you going bagless? Oh, always bagless. Oh, what is that? What did you get? The, the thing that I need for my badge. Oh, the lanyard. The lanyard. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna grab one of these too. I already have one that I brought from home, but I need a little collectible. I don't know if I need the bag either, but okay. the thing that's kind of kind of confusing, I'm not really sure which is the line to get in and which is the panel lines. It's kind of tough to tell because this might be the lines to get in. I think this, yeah, this is the lines to get in. They have everyone queued up here and it stretches way back that way. And there's also the legends panel, which is all the way this direction. And then there's this, that extension of the convention center I showed. That's also filled with people on both levels. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, so look at the line over here. And now, look at everyone queued up down there. Like thousands of people waiting to get in. And that's not even going through the checkpoint and then over to the parking lot on the other side of Harbor down there. That's why I love getting to things early and seeing this, because if you get here later in the day, you kind of miss out on all this. You know, the hordes of people like this. Yes, look at this. For posterity here. D23. It's happening. It's happening. All right, the floodgates of the general admission have now opened and starting to move forward. So the line I did show was the parks panel, not the parks panel line, but the legends line. But this is the line now. It's like a sea of people. There's Oswald, walk, Lucky Rabbit walking in. We should probably go ahead and get inside before... Let's get in there. 
Look at this. This is awesome. Ah, yes. It's good to be back. You know how many times during 2020, and even in the partial 21, there was no one in here. And I thought to myself, wow, I always remember D23 being so packed that this place was a ghost town. And now we're all back in here. D23 Expo, the ultimate Disney fan event. And it is a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here is what's happening, the schedule throughout the course. So a lot of people are waiting outside for the Disney Legends Awards ceremony, which Bobby C., Bob Chapek, will be speaking at for the first time in a while. So it's going to be interesting to see the reaction for him. And I did not get any reservations for any of these. So I'm hoping some of these are going to be like standby. So this is today's. You know, there's a few different ones. You got Hall 23, Premiere, Backlot, Archive Stage, and the Hyperion Stage. Oh, look at this. They're doing something on Walt's plane. We got to find Walt's plane. Yeah, that's, that's the number one goal. We got to go find Walt's plane. Move from Florida to here. Now, a lot of these doors are closed, but the one on the end down there is open, and this one is being held open by everyone. So I'm just kind of, I'm just following the crowd. You know, I'm just going to peer pressure. I'm just going right in with everyone else. Okay, now they are asking to make mobile reservations for a lot of these events, including to see Walt's plane. However, right now, because there's, you know, just the doors just open, it's standby just walking right in. But I'm sure as the event progresses, we have to do a lot of mobile reservations. Going in to see Walt's plane. Hello. Now, not only is this really awesome to see, especially because it's been repainted. The last time I saw this, it was sitting behind the stunt car show at former MGM Studios, now well, Hollywood Studios, I think it was actually called Hollywood Studios then, but it used to be sitting behind that, behind the show, Pavilion, and then also Catastrophe Canyon, it was kind of wedged in there, and then it sat backstage on Walt Disney World property for a very, very long time, and then I think a few weeks ago, they dismantled it, moved it cross country, repainted it, and now it's sitting here. And from what I'm hearing, they're gonna be putting it in a museum in Palm Springs, so this is going to be existing in Southern California, you know, an hour and a half or so from Disneyland. Okay, I walked over to Hall D23 and was thinking maybe getting standby for the Legends panel, but I believe the auditorium's already full and this is the crowd that's waiting to get in, so I don't think we're gonna be getting in there. Yeah, this is something. You might be in the video, June? Never. I Tell me how long you've been waiting here. Uh, I think I got here at 5.30, so I think I've been here around five hours. Five minutes. hours just to get in the Legends just panel. Just to get in the Legends panel. And I said I wasn't gonna do it. And now you're doing it? Chadwick Boseman is going to have a uh, oh. Set, so oh, that's pretty I'm cool. Obligated to go. So All right. Kind of, uh, have fun in there, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. See you, buddy. So, yeah. real quick, let me holler at you real quick. Okay, they are live streaming it. Bob Chapek just and walked out on stage right now. Back with all Bob Chapek. You know, Bobby so C up on stage right now. Bobby C on stage, coming together very to soft response. Very soft response. For the magic of Disney. And I hear you. We have gotten in line for the wonderful world of dreams, Disney parks and experiences. There is no, it's all standby queue, so you cannot book a reservation for this, but it looks like probably a half hour wait to get into this. There's the Walt statue that's coming to Epcot. Okay, this is interesting. What the, look at, I wasn't expecting this over here. There's a little maintenance on the windows here. <laughs> they got jokes. Speaking of glass, uh, would you hand me that last window pane over there? Certainly. Be careful. You don't want to step on it. Oops. <laughs> Looks like it's break time. <laughs> These are some of the ride vehicles from Tangled and Frozen that's going over to Tokyo Disney Resort. A lot of the new stuff that's coming to the parks is gonna be in this little booth. And it's gonna be called Fantasy Springs, even a Tinkerbell ride vehicle down here. All right, there are a number of models in here which definitely I wanna show a little attention to. Now they do have the Splash Mountain. It's not gonna be an overlay, but a complete retheme, which is gonna be the Tiana Bayou Adventure. And I believe this one here is actually not the Walt Disney World version, Magic Kingdom, but this is the Disneyland version of the new Tiana ride. They've been talking about this back 2019, D23, they announced it, and now it's finally starting to come to fruition. The ride's still open under you know, Splash Mountain, but soon they will be closing it down for the overlay. Also, speaking of Disneyland, they're showing what the Mickey and Minnie's railway, you know, the, the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway is gonna look like, and not just that, but also the building for that, but also what the entire Toontown is gonna look like. Toontown is getting kind of a, a revamp, getting cleaned up a little bit, making a little bit more room for different items. There's two different models you know, including the boat, and then I believe it's Goofy's house and all that, and kind of working in a few things that aren't normally in the in the Toontown area. And then there's also an area of 
at over at Epcot where the water, the Moana's water area is going to be, and they're showing some of the topiary, areas, what the topiary area is going to look like over in that section. And you know, definitely a lot of Epcot. Also, speaking of Epcot, they have the Walt statue, and I just learned that the Walt statue, this is the one that's going to be moved from here cross country are going to end up on the backside of Spaceship Earth and it's not going to be like the partner statue at Magic Kingdom or Disneyland where you cannot approach it and touch it. You are going to be able to stand next to Walt and get a photo on the backside of Spaceship Earth, almost similar to the Roy and Minnie sculpture that is on Main Street at Magic Kingdom that you can sit on the bench. Kind of very, very similar to that. So that's pretty dang awesome. And a lot of people in this room, a lot of people have kind of wedged in this room to look at everything. Definitely a, a, a cool exhibit. I'm glad I walked in and pay attention to it. And I had to take this photo for posterity. Now, when finally the construction is done at Epcot Center, I will recreate this, but in the park with the real Spaceship Earth behind Walt. And, you know, the monorail probably won't be in frame like it is here, but I will be able to stand by this very one. And I touched it. I touched Walt and all, you know, when he's in the park. I thought maybe I should probably touch the, touch the sculpture before he's placed behind like a fence or something, but I heard from a cast member that nope, he's going to be out there in the elements with everyone, able to meet and greet with everyone. All right, the Walt Disney Hometown Museum of Marceline has an exhibit here, and if you sign this bench, it will end up in the museum. And I go to Marceline pretty often, so I think I'm going to sign the bench and then look for it later. All right, I am now right over there. I have embedded myself in the... Okay, the next mobile queue started at 1 p.m., so it's 15 minutes till then. So just decided to kind of walk around, hit Mickey's of Glendale another time. I mean, I'm here for for the whole weekend so yeah it is really really busy in here there's a lot of people in here at this moment in fact this worker's trying to get through with something on that cart having a hard time kind of like swimming upstream Ooh, i see a sorcerer's cap kind of peeking up over this quote of walt here let me look around here and see if it's a sorcerer yeah let's check it out oh that's the animation building sorcerer there's genie right here also they've turned the fountain back on Genie of the lamp. Okay. Oh, there's Jafar over there too. Yeah, I guess it's all just like part of the whole That's pretty awesome though, this genie. Okay, I had to go on the Disneyland app and I ended up getting a Mickey's of Glendale Mog Group 91, so 100 minutes, give or take. So I should be able to get in Mog, into Mog. Right? Yes. What'd you say, David? What's a Mog? Is that a Spaceballs reference? Oh yeah, half man, half dog. Yeah, it's a mog. mog. I'm a mog. Check out Buzz Lightyear right there. You got Tron over there, Peter Pan, Genie up top. You got Merlin up at the top there. That's pretty awesome. Jafar. And it looks as if some food trucks have arrived down there. So there's a food trucks, but I think we're going to go to try to find a little secret spot, a slice of pizza over here at the Hilton. All right, everybody say D23 Expo. All right, I'm going to update this over the next couple of days and the progress here of the wall is being painted. Phone is going up. Oh, I see you. It's a work in progress. This is on Friday. All right, we ended up over at the Hilton at this place called Mix. Now, Bricky and I learned a hack back at Star Wars Celebration, and what happened to our hack? Uh, hack exposed. Did the not work. The there was as long as the food truck. Yes. Yeah. We were going to get a slice of pizza. Yeah. At Celebration, there was no one in line. No. But here, there was a lot of people in line, so we decided to go with mix. We're going to mix it up a little bit, Dave. Let's mix it up. I let's, think we should mix it up. Let's mix things up a bit. So our hack doesn't work. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the hack in the video. Maybe. We're not here right now. Do not try this. Do not try. This is not the hack. The best, place, the best thing to do is to go out there in the heat and wait for the food truck. No. 
Get your $12 cheeseburger. Nope, I'm, I'm better with being in the mix. I like being in the mix. I went with the soup of the day, asked what the soup of the day was, and it is clam chowder. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And I also went with a Caesar salad over here. I got soup and salad. What'd you get, Briggy? Club sandwich, french fries. Nice. And I want to point out, yeah. Adam got soup on a day where it's like 100 degrees yeah. outside. That's a piping hot soup. But it's cool here, so. <laughs> yeah. You got, you got what I was going to get. Shrimp tacos. I was, I was eyeballing the shrimp tacos on the menu. Oh, you got to do the, the old 80s commercial, squeeze yeah, it yeah. on the... Nice. There you go. Soup and salad. I'm not allowed to eat soup on a hot day. I cannot do that. All right. I love hot coffee and I love hot soup. Yeah, you're, you're, we're wired differently. <laughs> Oh, look at all the bacon on that thing. Yeah. That's a hack on its own. And extra toasted. Nice. Okay, heading back in. Had to go back through the checkpoint, and it's about to start downpouring. So they are shrink wrapping. They're shrink wrapping these just to protect from the elements. Yeah, some shrink wrap there. Yeah, it's about to come down out here. Gotta try to get back in there before this rain. I feel like this food, this, uh, Food truck area is about to clear up real quick. And everyone's yeah. gonna go ahead. Look at the trees there, blowing in the wind. And my bag here. Look at this storm on the horizon. Woo. Look at this. The signage is even falling. The signage is even falling down here. Go like. I feel like you were recreating the intro to Perfect Strangers. Remember when they're like when they're the Chicago winds? Like Balky and Balky and Coss and Larry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the Chicago winds. I saw you try to pick that thing up. There. There's no way. I was gonna pick that up, and then I thought maybe they laid it down so yeah. it wouldn't fall again. I thought well, I, I'm not gonna mess with that. On my way in, I can hear stuff falling behind me. Like, yeah. Um, everything that's standing up is falling down. So I just left it. I said I shouldn't probably. Well, it's I sh a, it looks like it's got a sandbag. On. Yeah, I probably shouldn't touch that. So I just left it there. Over here at the Garner Holt Productions booth, you got Abe Lincoln. But take a look at this animatronic oh, here. That all, oh, it's talking right now. I thought that was a real person from a distance, but it's not. Look at the owl up top. That is pretty dang cool. It looks like a real person, doesn't it? it does. Yeah. That well, is, except for the fact that he doesn't have a torso. But. Well, yeah, there's no, it's a person with like a wooden body frame, but yeah. Over here at the WDW radio booth is a figment made completely out of balloons. Take a look at that. That is freaking awesome. It's figment right here. Kind of hoping that in the Sunday Parks panel, they announce something, maybe a, a refurb or, you know, change up Journey to Imagination. I love figment, and I'd like to see that ride get a little love. A little TLC. And now about to head into Step in Time, the Disney 100th Anniversary Archives area. But there is a little bit of a line. Not too bad though, probably half hour away. Okay, have made it inside now. Oh look, Steamboat Willie Boat. We got the dwarfs over here from Snow White. Of course, premiered at Carthay Circle. And you got even some of the like wooden cutouts over here too as well. And Snow White's dress over there in the corner. So it started with Snow White basically giving a timeline. And then of course Disneyland opened in 1955. So kind of going up from 37 up to 1955. That's a pretty neat little recreation of the train station right up there. And of course the old original posters here, Autopia and Peter Pan's Flight. And then in 1964, Mary Poppins came along, which was very, very popular and kind of just kept the, kept the train along. Yeah, and evidently this is the dress from the movie, the screen news dress right there. That was worn. Mary Poppins dress right there from the archives. And probably even the same horse. And then of course 1971, Walt Disney World, and they have Haunted Mansion here representing WDW. Some of the props from the attic here, including the bride over there, and all this furniture from the original attic all kind of scattered around. This is just so dang cool to think this was on the attraction. And doom buggies would go by, right? Of course the, the bride has been replaced, but yeah. Original bride. And from Tron, Flynn's Arcade over here as well with a retro Tron machine over there in the corner and Comet Collider also. Forwarding to 1990, I love the film Dick Tracy with Madonna and Warren Beatty. 1990, this is a recreation of the Club Ritz. But I would imagine these are probably screen use props. That might be Madonna's Breathless Mahoney outfit up there. And I just read the information placard and indeed it is. Madonna wore this very 
outfit right here, and Warren Beatty wore this, this Dick Tracy outfit from the film. I really do like that that film. 1990, probably believe it's been that long ago since Dick Tracy came out in theaters. Now I got a little, I got a blue right now. And then back in 2012, Disney took over and acquired Star Wars. Here's some Star Wars problems. All right, I'm now in line for MOG, Mickey's of Glendale. Went ahead and scanned the reservation and now getting in the queue. Now it ended up taking about 45 minutes when it was all said and done. I think if I would have known it wouldn't have taken this long to get in here, the 45 minutes, even after getting the mobile queue and setting all that up, I don't know if I would have waited in the line. I would have come back another time this weekend and, and done it a little earlier. Because earlier did not seem like the, even after getting in with the mobile queue, the line was that long. Pretty cool that they're celebrating the 70th anniversary of Imagineering. They're selling a lot of the 70th merchandise stuff. Now, it, since I did wait that long, I'm definitely going to be purchasing something, whether it be the 70th anniversary of the Imagineering stuff, you know, t-shirts, things like that. They also have some pens and pencils and items like that. But then they also have a lot of the Muppet Studio stuff. And you know, I do like the Muppets, uh, kind of some deep cut items and some more popular Muppet items scattered through. And one thing I'm really fascinating too is the Three Little Pigs merchandise, which they had quite a bit of, you know, items from the Three Little Pigs construction company. And then also they had Mickey Minnie Runaway Railway stuff, but not the Hollywood Studios version, but the Toontown version, which is going to be coming. So the first time I've ever seen any merchandise for the Toontown stuff as well. But there are definitely a lot of people crammed in this little area. And this is after trying to get the reservation, getting the reservation, and then getting in the queue line for the reservation. It took about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, give or take. And I ended up getting some items that I'll show at the end. I'll show the haul at the very end. Which I have now placed in this bag that Disney, they gave this out on the way in. And I'm starting to fill it up with different products and stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna get some more coffee though. I'm starting to get, get, get kind of tired. All right, this is this is pretty dang amazing. Look at this, the R2 unit right up there. That is, I have never seen anything like that before. That is incredible. All right, it is now 5.30. I believe the convention for today closes at six, so we're gonna do a final lap. Yeah, being at Horror Nights last night and get, staying up late editing and all that, didn't really get a whole lot of sleep last night. I'm starting to get kind of into the sort of dreamlike stuff. All right, we've now stepped inside the D23 Expo Marketplace, and this is a real beehive of activity. And got a Mickey right here. I've seen quite, this is a not so hidden Mickey. Right here. All right, this is a pretty cool Snow White merchandise right along through here. Like this right here says, just one bite. And over here, some Tron. We got the 40 Tron <laughs> patch on the front of that one. It's the back half. Got the lounge flies down here. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh yeah, there we go, the Flynn's Arcade on the back there as well. We got some Willow figures over here. Willow! I always remember that from the movie. Willow, turn me back to my Willow. <laughs> I got some Star Wars stuff over here as well. This little beanie, that Grogu up there, and Mando, and also these Mickey mini ears as well. And these kind of like little track pants down here. And this Pizza Planet little like collar shirt is pretty awesome. Pizza Planet collar here. And down here, the chosen one, Pizza. Ooh, a little tumbler. Well, that's a cool shirt. That shirt's great. That's pretty awesome. A little yeah. slice of pie with the aliens on there. There's always space for pizza. Oh, this is good too. Yeah, it's a good bag. It's a really good bag. Good tight. Now what's kind of interesting, I actually have the kind of unaltered version of this. I do have the original retro version of this, but this is kind of altered a little bit. They've kind of added some fluffies on the ears there. I really like how Goofy is being represented all through here. Lots of different Goofies, like this one down here, and the little shadow boxing Goofy over here, and a DuckTales jacket right there, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Definitely like a retro looking, the Goof box right there. And then like a little purse, a little knapsack here. And then this character, this is inside. Kind of retro, black and white goofy. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at the glasses there. Old man goof. Eat a bag of peanuts. And a lot of dark wing duck items and duck tails as well. <laughs> dark wing down here. Yeah, there is definitely a heck of a lot of people here in this store. And this is even with reservations. There's the backside. That's the backside of water, but the backside of the 23 Expo Market. Over here at Marvel Studios. I really like this. Goat will bite. Do not pet. It says do not, do not pet right down below there. Do not pet goats will bite and now exiting out realizing that it is still raining well i don't know why i said still but it's raining outside at the moment a little bit of inclement weather 
Wow. A day one in the books. What is this wet stuff falling? <laughs> it's called weather. I hear the rest of the country gets it all the time. Yeah, we don't usually get it that much. It's the heat. All right, that's going to do it for today from the Anaheim Convention Center. The opening day of D23 It's happened. Also, so I got to show what I purchased here because I did purchase some stuff. I'll do that after the I end the end the, the video. I'm having trouble talking. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. I feel like I just only are they going? I feel like I only just touched the tip of the iceberg in there. There's a lot more to see, and I'm here for it about the course of the weekend. I'll try to mix up what I'm showing each day. I'll see you in the next video, and now I might even do something in the direct area. And I renew my Disneyland pass. Don't know if I'll stop in, but it's just right, right now. I think I'm a little too tired. I've, I've walked a lot. Been going pretty hard at Dragon Con. Disneyland a couple days. HHM till late last night. And then of course here, all that. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. And I wanted to show the shirt that I bought. I'm back at my hotel now showing this off. I got Hatbox Ghost in here, Tiki Room over here, a little Country Bear, a little Dream Finder. We got the Butler over here from Horizons. We got Figma, we got Orange Bird. Can't remember the bird from Runaway. And then the dog from Mansion. $27.99. They did not accept annual pass holder discounts, which I kind of was not expecting that. But this is part of the Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive right here. That's all the merch I got, but still a couple days left.